What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, check out that. That big old fat chunk of yellowfin tuna my buddy caught in the Bahamas yesterday. I bet you weren't expecting that. Look at this cake though. This was built, yet designed by two different people. Kelly Young built it, and Blue Gabby designed it. That's a custom racetrack that I designed. And there's the birthday boy right there. Raise your hand, whose birthday is it? Mouth of the South's birthday. So we're leaving for Nebraska in a few days. We're gonna cook an awesome dinner, then we're gonna go bait these traps. We're gonna pull the traps, and tomorrow we're gonna go to the outdoor show that I don't even think you knew about it, did you, Kelly? No, I found out because you tagged me in a post. Yeah, saying literally. We're going. It's blowing here like 25 miles an hour in Florida right now, so there's a huge outdoor show going on in South Florida. We're gonna go there tomorrow, meet up, hopefully have some fans, check out some new stuff, and just go have a good day. I'm gonna bring y'all along. Just got a little bit of pretty much everything bagel seasoning on here, except this is our own little custom blend. Flip it over, put it on both sides. I've got my pellet grill on 400 degrees. I wanna do it hot and fast. If you guys go and buy tuna like this, I tell you, I promise you, it's cheaper than going to catch them. It might not be as fresh, but it'll be pretty fresh. Let's slap it on the grill, and then we're gonna go over some mailbox Monday, because we've been slacking a little bit. We almost got overwhelmed. Speaking of which, we got this crate right here. One of our fans sent it to us. We're gonna test it out. It's supposed to leave like serious grill marks. Huh. Which you can't eat grill marks, they're just for look, so hey, we'll try it. I'm gonna cook it for about two minutes on each side at 400 degrees. Redneck, come on. We didn't forget about you. Oh, we'll get to the table. It's Redneck's birthday too, y'all. He is about two weeks older than Luke, so they're both six years old. He's just six, year, six years and two weeks old. Happy birthday, Redneck. And Redneck got a little birthday present too in this box. I already opened it because I had to open it. <laughs> but we're gonna let the boys open it. Ooh, I get to open it. Tyler, dig in there. Y'all, yeah. this is Tyler, one of our good friends. He's our neighbor. Son, oh no, no, no. I think on the letter they said that's Switch my hat. Shot. Oh, no. Even there's doggy cookies. For oh, those are for your birthday, Luke. Those are doggy oh. cookies for you. Yeah. yeah, this is my slingshot. Jay, what? what was that? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not yours. I already had to compensate one slingshot that I bought them a couple months ago. Now yeah, we have a... three. So now Tyler can have a slingshot. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is mine now. <laughs> well, I Where's the letter at? Let me see that hat. What shirt that's is mine? That's pretty dope. That's actually yeah. a really cool hat. The moose. I want to see a moose so bad. Do I get these so, Yeah. Redneck, you can have a cookie. It's happy a birthday, birthday to Redneck. Hey, for guys to say oh. my happy birthday. We're going to sing yours after dinner when we eat cake. Mm -hmm. Talk about those gloves real quick, though. Because you definitely need them, of all people. So these gloves, you can fillet fish, cut anything if you're using a knife. And you won't hurt yourself. Because I cut myself every single time I handle a knife. And they don't fit me, unfortunately. So fortunately, now me. she has to clean all the fish. I like cleaning fish. So who is this box from? This is uh, Kelly, Blue, Gabe, Jake, and Luke. Hello, greetings from Alaska. We both love your YouTube channels. They're, they said there's nothing good on TV anymore, so we really enjoy watching you guys. Oh gosh. Luke. Yeah, you better duck or bleed, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> Slingshot. It's got it. Do you have something you want to say to your fan who sent it? Thank you. It's thank Ooh. you. No, she's look. They're moose. They're, they're from moose. Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Mm -hmm. There's moose at Alaska. They now, said, hold on one sec. Okay. We've got tons of letters and tons of mail from other people as well. We're gonna try to fit all of you guys in. Letters in particular are obviously time consuming to read. We read them all, I just don't have time to put the whole entire letter on the video. Jake, though, is going to respond back to, what was his name, Jake Parker? So a younger boy named Parker's been writing Jake, and other kids have wrote Jake. 
when we leave for Nebraska this coming Tuesday, he's going to sit on the airplane and write back to all of you who wrote him. I have them all in a pile there, right there, ready to go. If yeah. you can see. Right there. Right there. Right. Um, yeah, I gotta go check on my tuna. Wait. It says the coffee cups for me because I love my coffee. The hats for Gabe, and then the shirts and slingshots are for the Wait, the hats for Dad? Hey. Yeah, but you're. <laughs> Luke, what are you gonna put in that slingshot? A rock. A rock? Oh, God. I'm gonna go use it outside. Um. Yeah, what about rocking. after? After cake. After You'll cake. Find okay. Some sort of after cake. Put in the yeah, cake. knowing Luke, he'll make some kind of. This is cold. Look. Yeah. So I asked Luke today what he wanted to do for his birthday. Last night we wanted to go frogging, but the wind's blowing so hard. Today we were going to go to the sandbar, and I said, Luke, do you want to catch some crazy, gnarly, giant prawns? And he said, absolutely. Y'all don't... <laughs> Seriously? Flinching. Y'all don't want to miss the trapping part of this video, though, because you don't catch these prawns just anywhere that are this big. It's awesome. We're going to set them tonight, pull them in the morning, and y'all are coming along with us. They definitely work. They also sent me these really cool tongs oh, that nice. fits right in there. Look at that. That's actually very professional looking. It almost looks fake. It's so good. The one thing I like about a pellet grill, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to come out and tend to my fire. I don't have to worry about my kids getting burnt. It's just, it'll shut off on its own. This new cutting board, if you watch my Texas videos, you heard me say I want that cutting board. Queuing it up, barbecue done right. Barbecue done right. They sent me a new cutting board and you literally, you can't like, you can't cut it, it's insane. So that's pretty dope. All right, well, Blue Gabe is in the kitchen finishing up our dinner. We're gonna have a little slingshot contest and see who can shoot the farthest. All right, hold on guys. So, did you each select a rock? Yeah. Jake? Why don't you get this yep. one? Tyler, do you yeah. have a rock? Yeah. All right, Luke, do you have a rock? Yeah, I have a teeny tiny one. Yeah. All right, into the bushes. Do not hit my truck. Luke already hit it once. I'm gonna get behind you guys. No, I didn't. All right. You guys all stand in a straight line. Come here, Luke. Stand right here on the sidewalk. All right. On three. One, two, three. Ooh, Tyler. That was sniper like slingshot mode right there. Yours I went shot really a high. With that one. Yours went really high. Tyler's was like a speedball. Luke, I don't know where yours went. Um, this one? Mine went so fast that you didn't even see it. This oh, one? Oh. I like shooting this one. It's so like. Which one's hey, my, that? Oh yeah. It's just so, so it's so use. accurate. I found some glass. Okay, that's so but it doesn't pull back as far, but it has more power in it. This mm. one pulls back a lot. Yeah, that one pulls back more. Well, I'm gonna come back out here in about an hour and there's gonna be no rocks left. <laughs> so let's go back to the kitchen and see what Gabe's up to. But look at that. Mmm. See all you men that wonder how I get such a beautiful young lady. Food, guys. Food. Fancy meal on the paper plates, no dishes. Wait, oh, it's redneck. Come on, let's see. Oh, fell right apart. Mmm. Delicious. And with this sauce, oh my gosh, it's to die for. Literally. This is like a, how can I describe the flavor? A sweet, tangy barbecue mixed with a soy sauce. That's how I can describe the flavor and it's so good. Mm. I have zero affiliation with that company and I eat it on everything. You can put that on a hamburger, french fries, sushi, chicken, chicken that stuff is the bomb diggity. Now we will see y'all down at a ditch about a half mile from my house where we're going to start putting these traps out. All right, so for those of y'all who have been following me, you see that I use those little cloth traps. Well, turtles have been devastating them. So I got back on Amazon and I found these little metal traps with a plastic housing. I don't think turtles can hurt them. We've got three little sardines in each one. I'm going to put two here and then spread them down this ditch. Hey, don't. Put one there. 
one there. You guys are going to be blown away when you see what we catch in these traps. I know I've been all over the place in Florida and I've only ever seen these things in one spot and it's right here. In that creek we've seen them. Yeah, actually in the creek behind our house too, but y'all have already seen this trap Wait, there. There's a the trap I see. Check out these other traps. I'll be right back. Pull your pant legs up. Okay, I'll pull them up so hide that. So oh, these are another so brand of new traps that I got and I'll have everything for these in the link below. I literally just ordered them on Amazon. See that little trap door where they go in? That's all it is. This part of the canal is real shallow. Come on, Luke. There's big cotton mouse in here. What are you going to do if the snake gets after you? The current's coming this away. So anything that smells the bait's going to be coming from that away. So I want the trap opening to be facing that away right in the middle we're gonna put this one here the next one down there and another one at the culvert set it flat anytime you can get your kids outdoors to do this type of stuff for one they probably won't get covid because their immune system's like as good as it can be because we don't know what's in this water and they're learning like right now he's picking through the hydrilla there's grass shrimp snails <laughs> a lot of snakes and they're just, more than anything, not playing video games inside. They're outside learning. Here comes Tyler. He's got, this trap's got a funny story. So my buddy Catfish, Kelly, and I were in a gas station in Venice, Louisiana, in the middle of nowhere. And this dude pulled up with a whole truckload of traps. And I was like, can I buy one? He's like, oh, no, you ain't buying them. Like real, real, like standoffish and rude. I'm like, whatever. And I walked off. Well, Catfish is a real humble, quiet man. I come back out and Catfish has not only got one, but he didn't have to pay for it. It's a really, really neat minnow trap. But he told me if I want to catch crawfish that I need to cut that hole a little bit more open like I just did. This is a really cool trap too, so I can't wait for it in the morning. Gib, you have no more. What? You have no more trap. Luke. Look at this hole. Look at this pitch hole. Luke, what are you doing? Look. Look at this pitch hole. Oh gosh. Yo, you need to get this. What is it? It's a pitch hole. It's a what? Like the hole goes all the way down. Ooh, it might be a snake. I'm a snake. I'm a silly little, little snakey snake. <laughs> oh, there's a fish inside of it. There's a piece of chicken? That ain't even our trap. That, there's a fish inside. Leave it alone, that's not ours. Okay, wait. What's oh. the odds of that? Tell him to watch your video. Get up out of that deep hole. We might not catch as much then. Well. That's not been in there all day. Luke, go up and around. It's deep right there. <laughs> well, Dad, that's I interesting. Think... Yeah. I, I just yeah. looked like, I know that's not. Oh, the... Dad, there's another trap over here. That's our trap. Are you guys ready for this competition? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so we are going to do our best turkey gobble impersonation into this tunnel. That's easy. All right, so Jake's gonna go first, then Tyler, then gobble Luke. Up. All right, go Jake. Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, <laughs> gobble. Go! Not bad, all right, Tyler, go. Oh wait, do it again. Oh, that was cute. All right, you ready? Luke, your best turkey gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Yeah, I'm gonna try and do it. Turkey fried chicken! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try Let's see. Ready? <laughs> That's good. Ooh, a Courtney, fried chicken. Oh, no. your best, your best <laughs> gobble. Your best gobble. I don't ever gobble. You ready? All right, everybody silence. <laughs> oh. What was that? Look at that bass jumping on the other side of them. Oh, crap. I don't gobble. Bass doing 360. So Courtney is a good friend of ours from, where are you from, South Georgia? Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. We didn't, we didn't even know that was a state. What's your Instagram? Sportswoman Courtney. She's been doing this a long time. She's a female. She's into the gun industry, the hunting industry. I'm going to put her Instagram. Y'all check it out. I promise you, you'll like it. Thanks, guys. All right, Loki, no spitting. We got to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to Luki. Happy birthday to Luki. Happy birthday, dear redneck. Happy birthday to you. All right, 
blow out all your candles. No spitting. Hard. You got to blow hard. He's trying not to spit it. All right, now I got to rotate it. You get two breaths because I stack the candles on high. Go. Ooh. Hard. Oh my gosh. Hard. Great candles. Hard, Luke. Luke, you, they keep lighting back up. You're supposed to blow them out. But Dad, if I blow hard, I'll blow out a mouse spit. <laughs> All right, go. Here, I'll help you. Well, that was Did easy. Doing it? Do you feel any older? Hey, do you feel any older? Yes. Are we supposed to? Oh. What the heck? Oh God. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Luke, what is this? Okay. Here, do you need help with four people? Yeah, you and Jake help him. Okay. Oh, All right, they're out. They're out. Are we supposed to clap now? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now we eat that side of the game. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's all your side. This side is contaminated. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere because in the morning. Oh my god. In the morning, we're going to pull these traps, and then we're going to the Outdoor Expo. This video is really just getting started, but we're going to eat some cakes. I'm going to open the windows because the fire alarms are definitely going to go off. Happy birthday to Jake, or to Luke. Jake's birthday is next, June 25th. When's your birthday? August 10th. Mine's August 12th. I'll be 29. I'm August 4th. And what? What? August 29th. <laughs> the August people out rule y'all. We'll see y'all in the morning. Oh! We got a little fish, that's all we got. Pick it up, pull it to the camera. When I picked it up, a crawfish was on it in it. Those are the new traps too, so we don't know really how they work yet. Bring it over here. And it was like standing like this, we probably should have had it like that. I can't believe that in it. Pull the mud? What'd you get? A little fish, he's in the corner. Try to get him and not the bait. Oh, it's shallow right here. Clear. Did you feel the trap, Luke? Not yet. Oh, yeah. Can All right. Look at the blue on him, though, on his the side of the face. Stick him in the bucket. Jake, get in there and help Luke find his other trap. Good morning, everybody. We are obviously pulling the traps. And oh, last on. night when we were setting them, we realized that somebody else had already put a trap here, too. So hopefully they haven't been trapping here and trapped everything out. Oh, I think I, I'm stepping on something. All right, well, don't step on it. Pull it up. Oh, that might be the other one. That's ones. it. I knew I'd put it somewhere right there. Pull it up. It, feel, it feels like a snake. <laughs> that might not be it. Jake, get in there and help him find it. It's somewhere in there. His truck is over there. I think I feel a big shell. No, it's a big box. It's a trap. Oh, yeah. there it is, right there. I see it. Look, right here. My bad. Wait, so that was an alligator. I I just found an alligator. Is there a reason why you didn't change from yesterday? Those are different pants. Oh, Look. Jake, get it right there. Well, I just found an alligator Look. over there. We don't want to hear alligator stories. We want to see what's in the trap. Okay. That's very true. Pick it up. Oh, I got, I got one fish. That yes, one teeny, teeny tiny fish. The same thing I've been with mine. It's oh my same. gosh. What well, what kind of fish is it? I don't know. Looks like a. It looks like what we just made Cichlid? a video of. And that video you guys just watched that I did on my channel called the how to catch the most fish under $10 blew any record I ever had for the first 24 hours of views as far as watch minutes. More people have watched that video longer no. than any other video no. I've ever made. And I appreciate that because it was oh, just no. a simple video of us and the kids. That's fine, Luke. We don't need a cichlid. Come on. We Wait. need is that big crawfish. Do you know that? I'm trapped way over there. Can, can I pull that trap? Because my fish is in the way, I'll go help Tyler and Jake. 
because that trap is really big. Yeah, I feel like that I'm stepping on alligator. Well, Tyler's the first one to catch one. And I caught one. Guess what? This is the spot over here. Yeah. Something about these rocks. So, we didn't, it, I, I don't see a big one in Jake's trap either, but he does have one of these prawns. Oh, Dad, there's a teeny tiny fish right there. Look at this. For a grass shrimp, look how big he is. Wait, that's a shrimp? Yeah, that's a shrimp. I want to pet him. Look at Jake's. Ooh. How many do you got? I you got one. one. Jake said, Jake said a cool one. Yeah, I bet you whoever's trapped that is has been trapping these things like crazy. Because typically when we do this, we catch a bunch and a bunch of the big males too, and we don't ever keep very many of them. Oh, Dad's got a big one. Good one, Dad. Good one. But we caught three, and that's better than none. True. Wait, there's still one in there. Huh? No, please. please. Oh. Did you get it out, Jake? No, I can't get this thing. Jake, let me help. Pull the hook back towards you. Why are we just... That's what we're doing. Why, why are you just standing there not helping him? And it looks like he needs help. Luke. Tell me about it, Luke. Whose trap is that? Hey, but Kelly, yeah. but when I was getting my trap, remember that I said that I feel like that I was touching an alligator? I, f I feel like that I, I was trying to um, uh, um, uh, touch Luke, down. I think if it was an alligator, you would know it was an alligator. Yeah. <laughs> but it was probably a baby alligator mm. because I felt, I felt a shell <laughs> and it felt like an alligator. Well, an alligator. All right, enough of the story time, Mr. Story Time. So we caught, no. oh, don't jump out. Wait, why and it might just be the bait, you never know. Look at these. Oh. No. We were it. using like a salt water thing. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So, they're so three. flippy. So we caught three and all we used was the same type uh -huh. of bait in every trap. So it could have just been the bait, or it could be that somebody's trapped them all too, because this is a very, very small body of water. You never know. We'll come back and try again, but right now, I just wanted to show the kids the new traps and show you guys what you can catch here in South Florida. Wait, let me focus. Are these like tiger prawns or something? I, think I don't that's exactly what know what they are. That's what they're called, because I looked it up and see these stripes. It's called a tiger prawn. Oh yeah, I think you're right. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. Oh. Let him go, let him go. Good job, Luke. So I was contemplating eating a couple of these, but we didn't catch very many this time. I hope it's not because of that trap right here, and the guy's been keeping too many. It's probably not, probably just the bait. So Lukey is turning them loose. We are headed back to the house to eat breakfast and go to the outdoor show where there's some awesome games and awesome new companies that want to work with us. So y'all don't go anywhere. The best is yet to come. I'm excited for that. You what? too? Yeah, but I don't even know what it is. You think you'll put clothes on when we go? Yeah. What about Luke? Are you going to put some clothes on for the show? Yes. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I woke up five minutes ago. Good morning, Kelly Young. <laughs> We will see y'all there. <laughs> Got him, babe. All right, you guys, we are cocked, locked, and ready to rock for Nebraska. We went to the outdoor show. We watched dogs jump the most amazing distances I've ever seen. Luke got to get on this crazy bouncy swing set thing, got scared to death. Old Mouth of the South, which is what Robert used to call me, is what I'm calling Luke now, got scared to death and wanted down. Jake got to shoot some bow and arrows. 
but we got to meet some amazing people and some amazing companies. Buck Run Hunting Lodge in South Carolina. We met this, it's a young couple our age who have kids our age and they invited us up to hunt their new place in South Carolina and we are so excited for that. One thing y'all have never seen right here is my turkey beard collection. I'm a turkey hunting fanatic, but I am terrible at filming turkey hunts because I just, I get too amped up. Right here, I think there's like 48 of them and this is just from the last four years. This is my fan that I've been hunting with all season and it is rather beat up oh, to yeah. say the least. Typically, I take that feather out so I can sneak up behind my decoy like that, which isn't that decoy, I use a strutting decoy. I mean, I've got big, fat, double beards, long beards, short beards. This is actually Jake's first turkey, which that's the only one in here that's not mine. I take it, I think, I'm pretty sure. I know the dog has got a couple, I've lost some. But this is only from the last four years. And predominantly, these are Osceolas and Easterns. I have killed a few Rios in the mix. A little bit of these, a little bit of, a little bit longer Jake. Some of them have got caught up in the mix. I mean, turkey hunting, if you've never done it, there's nothing that, like, so Kelly's first hunt, the birds landed right in front of us and she got to kill one. The footage was terrible because it was so dark. And then her next like four hunts were hard. They didn't work out really well. But her video that's going up today or tomorrow is of a hunt that again, we didn't get great footage of, but she's gonna talk you through it. It's amazing. World-class turkey hunt. The bird was hard to get to come in. You can have to watch her video to see the rest. But this is something to be proud of. I mean, mm. for any of you guys that like turkey hunting, I've got quite the collection. Yep, just a bunch of beards laying on the table. <laughs> Oh, this is this is Kelly's bird from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my beard from Kentucky, I think, is the biggest out of all of these. It might be the fattest. Yeah, not the longest. Well, it's pretty long, but it was thick. So this bird right here, sort of like a casualty of war, you know what I mean? Sometimes good guys get taken out accidentally for the cause. That's what happened to this little Jake right here. He ate just like the rest of them. But I want to talk to you real quick about this awesome cooler in this bag. First we're going to talk about the bag. I bought both of these. Kelly and I were just walking around. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love these. So when Kelly and I are traveling, we both have our own backpack that has our laptop and our own stuff in it. But then that eliminates us bringing one more bag on a trip, which costs a lot of money. So I was looking at this cooler, really nice man from Georgia was selling them. And he heard me say I was looking for something that we can combine our laptops. He's like, bro, I got you. This bag can hold up to four laptops safely, has a huge storage in here, has sunglass hard case, mm -hmm. and has a cooler built into the bottom. And what Kelly doesn't know is, because I called and talked to the owner today, see that cooler bag? Yep. This bag is actually made out of recycled plastic bottles. There's 60 mm -hmm. plastic bottles made up in this. And that's one thing his company thrives on, is reusable plastic, which is amazing because Everywhere we go, on every video we do, every place we travel, so littered with trash, it's insane. So now on this trip to Nebraska, those are my two bags for me and Jake. Kelly has like nine more bags for just her. So that's all of our hunting gear. And I'll have the whole bag of the truck full of Kelly's. But now we can pack all of our computers and all of our stuff in this bag. I'm gonna put my camera gear in this cooler. See how nice it looks inside? My cameras won't get squished. It's got extra pouches. It's got a divider spot for the glasses, a backpack, and he says it'll hold ice for a long time. This is a pretty cool feature. So you don't have to open it up all the way. You just pop this top, reach in there and grab you a soda or whatever. It'll hold all my GoPros and then hopefully we kill some turkeys and bring them back and that's what we'll bring the meat back in. So damn coolers. I mean, it was just, uh, in my eyes, it was an awesome company and it ended up helping us out greatly by eliminating us bringing two bags, so win-win. Mm -hmm. Had a great time at the outdoor show. Thanks for everybody that stopped, all you fans that stopped and took pictures. When we take pictures, the fans are normally upright, so it's hard for me to place them in a video, but South Carolina, we're coming for you. Nebraska, we're coming for you first, though. We'll be there tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I got to run and go get the kids right now. Get back, get Jake dressed, get everything ready. We're leaving in the morning.
Can we talk about your shirt real quick? Yeah, this is me. Big, sexy. Favorite rods, favorite fishing reels. They knew this name was meant for me, so they named a rod after me. Hey, what can I say?